What's up everybody, 32 Icon here. I hope that you guys are doing well. I'm doing well myself. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already and good faith that we'll continue to bring you great content. Oh, and I'm just another YouTube personality, so take what I say with a grain of salt and do your own research, okay? All right, so today we're gonna talk about Big Brother and Little Brother. And all that is, is just a full-size firearm of your choice and the subcompact or compact version of the full size. So why am I doing this video? Well, when I first got into firearms, I figured, okay, if I get this particular gun or a full gun of its size, then I should be good. And if I want a carry version, then I can pick an entirely different firearm for that particular purpose. Well, the longer I started researching and getting more into firearms, I realized that it will behoove me to stay with familiarity when carrying a firearm. So for instance, I know some people shoot this in competition, right? This is the VP9 and that's totally fine. Or some people carry it for uh, duty or they'll have it as their home defense. Well, say for example, now it's time to have an EDC. If you go to another firearm, like let's just say the, um, the Glock 19, well, you'll realize immediately that the ergonomics are different, okay? The controls are different. The um, Glock have a button for the mag release, whereas the VP9s have paddle releases. Then you'll realize that, um, you know, the slide lock is on one side, whereas on the VP9, they're on both sides. So it's ambidextrous. So it's easier to work with a firearm and a platform that are similar. So then when you take the VP9 and you say, okay, I'm gonna use this for competition or home defense or duty, that's fine. So now when it's time to carry an EDC, the gun is very familiar to you because it's the exact same gun with same ergonomics, for the most part shootability. Uh, the controls are the same. So you are more equipped and prepared if anything were to happen because you have already familiarized yourself with the gun. Now, let's take the Glock 19. This particular Glock 19 is the Vickers version, right? So. Again, most people use this for carry, okay? And for me, I also happen to have it in the 17, okay? So, two of the same guns, one can be used for duty competition or home defense. The other one is simply just for my EDC. Again, the grips are the same, the angle is the same. Um, for the most part, the sights are the same. All right, so I am using the same firearm for the most part, just in different sizes. Now, let's take a look at the, <laughs> the CZ. So this is a little different, right? So the CZ is like, it's big brother, right? But like in life, right? If it's true to life, Sometimes parents get a divorce, right? Sometimes parents move on and have other families and, you know, they end up having children in those other families. So, <laughs> that said, this is the P01 with the Omega Trigger and this is the CZ75. So, this is not the compact of this. The 75 has a compact version. I don't have the compact version yet, but I just wanted to show you that even though they're a little different, they're still in the same family. So when it comes to ergonomics, right? I can pick up this 75 and pick up this P01 and still feel very comfortable, even though the P01 is not the compact version of the 75. They're still very comfortable. The width of the grips are very similar. Um, the ergonomics are the same. The slide in both rides inside the frame. Um, you know, they both have hammers that I can actuate. So they're very similar. Um, have I shot this in plate shoots a couple of times? Yes and felt very comfortable with it. 
I have yet to carry this, but I shot this at the range and it feels similar to the 75. Very comfortable. In fact, I have to hurry up and get a holster for this. I know I said that in the last video, but I gotta do it because this honestly might be my favorite um, compact gun at the moment. It, I think it is. Like, oh, I love this firearm. But anyway, I say all that to say that is it necessary to have uh, the big brother and the little brother? No, not at all. It, it's really not. But it helps you with the familiarity of the firearm. It helps you with the controls. You know what you're going to get from the firearm. It is very predictable. So if you're carrying or if you're on duty or home defense or something of that, of that nature, it's fine to switch around firearms, but I think you will find it most helpful to have the same platform so that you are prepared and you know how to handle it and it is not new to you in case something does happen. So this is just a quick video to touch on a couple of these firearms and let you know what I was thinking, but let me know your thoughts down below. They could be very different from mine and um, I'd love to hear what you have to say. So I hope that you guys are doing well and treating one another with kindness and i'll see you on the next video thanks peace